Hi Taurus, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, I hope you come back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for um, coming back again and again, for subscribing, for liking my videos, for sharing them with your friends. I really appreciate it. Now I apologize for the delay in getting you your video. I had this raging case of strep that wasn't cured by um, penicillin or amoxicillin, so I started taking some Ceph something, some different antibiotic. I can actually talk now. So here they are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, and then one other thing before we get started is that um, I've been doing probably like 48 videos a month for all the different signs. So here on YouTube, and I'm happy to keep doing them. I really love doing these because I think that people get a lot of help out of them. That's the reason why I do them. I want people to um, make better choices and, you know, be really happy in their lives, help guide them towards their highest good. But that being said, um, that's a lot of videos. So I'm going to continue to do the general readings here and the love readings here just because I find those to be the most helpful for people. I think that's where our areas of guidance are most needed. But then the rest of the other ones like the Maslow's Pyramid readings, Stop, Drop, and Roll readings, Angel readings, those extra bonus ones, I'm moving over to a site called Patreon. And so um, if you're interested in finding those, that's where you'll find them. If you don't want to check it out, no big deal. <laughs> I'm still doing these ones here um, until until you guys decide that you no longer want to see them. So, okay. And over there you'll also find like videos on um, how to read tarot cards for yourself as well as how to use crystal grids, that sort of a thing. So we will just get started here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, September 9th through October 9th. And you have some general cards popping out here, um, wanting to tell you things before I even get to the areas of career and finance, your home life, your friendships, and then love for singles and couples. So just in general, what do we have here? Um, a need to focus in on what's right in front of you. You need to stop looking at like the bigger picture, the whole entire world, and bring your focus back onto what's right in front of you. So that could be um, like what's right in front of you at work. This is um, a general part of the reading. It could be your family, the people that are right by you, but that's very important. You have a challenge here to feel confident, to feel secure, to feel in control within your environment. But um, it's saying, you know, try to do that and then also try to be very optimistic and have faith. Really believe in God, Allah, your spirit guides, angels, whatever, your own gut intuition, your higher self, that you are making the right choices and to be bold and to be brave and just to kind of like set off on your path whatever feels right and then um, whatever you think is going to make you happy and just trust, trust that you will be, okay? Because that's the main ingredient here. That's, that's the secret is believing in yourself, that you can be, that you will be. A lot of you are just not feeling um, particularly like in your day-to-day -day life in, or in your work environment or in regards to finances, you might not be feeling very much in control. And um, it's a temporary thing though. And so it's saying, you know, don't walk away from whatever you are doing at this point in time. It's kind of a warning for you there, okay? Now what's going on for Taurus in regards to work, career, money, that sort of a thing. Um, some disappointment, some heartbreak, not feeling, um, feeling, feeling almost defeated, uh, feeling pretty sad, not focusing on the positives. Now, it's saying though, any new ideas that you have, go ahead and blaze forward with those. They can't just stay ideas, they have to become actions. You have to take your thoughts and put them into actions, but also you need to focus on the positive things about it. Now it's saying for some of you, if your ideas are to leave a job, it's not saying go ahead and leave it this minute, oh, like just quit and like walk out. It's not saying that. What it's saying that you need to do is you need to start finding a new one right now, okay? This is taking the action, looking for something different, but not yet walking away. So maybe you need to cut back your hours and start your own business slowly, something like that, okay? Did I just say slowly? Really weird. I don't know why. <laughs> and then you have this card here about... Um, Again, just believing in yourself, trusting that things are going to work out, that you're going to be happy, finding that enthusiasm, and just taking those risks and just like, based on nothing other than your gut instinct, believing that they will pan out, that it will work out for you, that everything is going to work out for your highest good. And it doesn't always feel that way right away, 
But after some time, you'll look back and you'll say, oh my gosh, that might have been the worst thing that ever happened in my life, but it's also the best thing that ever happened in my life. Oh, this is so, I love it when things work out this way. This card is telling you you have to entirely close old doors for new things to come through. Okay, so um, this could be old thought patterns, this could be old situations, this could be people entirely cutting them out for new, better opportunities to present, okay? But this is like emotional attachment. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so moving on from there, we are going to go to the area of home life. So this could be your physical, actual home or also um, anything dealing with the people that might live within your home. Maybe not saving enough, not holding on to things enough, um, and then just kind of waiting for things to pay off for like the investments you've made to come back to you. And maybe that's why you are feeling in this area of um, like unconfidence, like financial insecurity and things like that on the day-to-day -day life. Maybe living paycheck to paycheck right now at this point in time. But it's just saying like whatever you, it is that you want, wherever you want to be financially, like you're going to start moving forwards towards that so long as you have the faith. This card, again, is a lot like the Fool where you have a lot of happiness and faith so long as you believe that you do. Um, if you can get your faith and your reality moving in the same direction, it's like, boom, really, really quick. You're going towards what it is that you want, okay? So you have to stay really positive, focused, and really, um, really mindful that way. It's saying it's not a good time for people to move, to make big shifts and moves. And so when we go back to our career and finances, what I was talking about is it's like you have to take an action, but maybe not entirely um, walk away from something. That's kind of what I'm talking about. So maybe starting to look for a new place to live, but not um, just like putting in your notice, like boarding up the doors and windows. Bye. <laughs> okay. But um, when it comes to emotional things, you do have to close emotional doors for new ones to open. I hope that makes sense. I don't want you to be confused there. Now, in regards to your friendships, what do we have for September 9th through October 9th? A couple things here. So, um, <laughs> it's this is going to sound silly. It's not fair the emotional work that you have to put into getting to know new people. It sucks. It totally does. It's annoying. It's tedious. Sometimes it's fun, but then after a while, you're like, oh my gosh, there's so much I don't know about this person. And I have to take the time to get to know them. I like other shit I want to do. <sighs> but I want to have these deep emotional connections so that I can feel emotional, emotionally fulfilled. You know, I just want things to be like how they were before <laughs> with my old friends. Like, it wasn't a lot of work to get to know them. Hmm. Sucks. But that's reality, right? So it says, you know, think about making, think about every, like, engagement, getting to know somebody and, like, taking the time to, like, learn about their quirks and can you tolerate them and, you know, are they trustworthy and are they interesting, that sort of thing. Think about it as an investment in your future, like, for the long term, like, everybody that you meet, okay? That's <laughs> that's how they want you to frame it. Um and then also, you know, cut the people out that are total shit so that you have new space for new ones. Like, what is that thing? It's like that Girl Scout song. Somebody else had this too. Maybe it was Gemini. Like, um, make new friends, but keep the old one is silver and the other gold. So, but if your old friends are like gangrene color, they're black and they're green and they're gross and they're necrotic, cut them out. Get rid of them. You know, it, what are those lizards, skinks? You know, where you cut off their tail and a new one grows back? It's like that. <laughs> cut, cut off those friends that suck, and then you'll grow a new one right after that. You have a you have an opening for that. Um, but the but it doesn't happen overnight. Okay, so that's what this is saying. You know, friendships are grown over time, and they do take work. But you know, ultimately, if you keep these icky, toxic friends in your life. Basically, what's going to happen is they're going to keep creating drama over and over in your life, and you don't have time for that. That sucks. Ain't nobody got time for that, right? Okay. Um, moving on to your love life. For those of you who are single, what do we have? Taurus, sun, moon, rising that are single, October, no, September 9th through October 9th. Oh, follow your gut instincts and ultimately you'll end up happy, but you don't need to worry about what other people are thinking about the people that you're dating um, or the people that you are 
um, like attracting, things like that. Don't worry about other people's opinions. You do what's right for you. What you ultimately think is going to make you happy because like you can be so happy that the sun is like raining happiness on you. Um, but it, what it's saying is like people that you're meeting, you might have uh, the same end goal in mind. Maybe you both want to find a forever partner. Maybe you just want to be F buddies, whatever. You, you have to focus on the fact that you both want the same thing and then not let like the bickering in between about how to get there be a bigger issue than it has to be. Just focus on the end goal. You have a lot of cards saying that as far as um, what's going on for you today. Now, those of you who are connected still to an ex-love, um, you have to just like entirely walk away from that. Like it's okay to still love them, to still care for them, but you have to go off in search of something better because the grass is actually greener on the other side. So if you've recently become single, keep moving forward, keep going forward. That's what that's saying. And for some of you, like this might just be somebody that you express some interest in and then you realize like, mm, but I want more than this. I want better. You can have more and you can have better, you know, it's up to you, but you can. It's saying, um, don't be nitpicky, though. <laughs> Your cards are very similar to, who was it? Maybe Cancer? To Aquarius? It's saying, whatever you've been doing, like, as far as, like, meeting new people, dating, things like that, that's working for you, and it shall continue to work for you. Maybe it doesn't feel like it's been working for you lately, but... Um, it's not broken, so don't fix it, okay? that's a It's a good way to meet new people, to attract them into your life. You have a challenge card here saying that it's challenging to remember that things don't happen overnight. Relationships don't blossom and grow, like, in four minutes. They just don't. I mean, we'd like to believe that, and on occasion, it does happen that way, where you meet somebody and it's like, oh my gosh, love at first sight, and it just takes off. But anyone you meet this month, it might not be that way, so don't expect it to be. Um, but it also won't be as much work as you think it will be to get to know them. So take the chances and stuff, okay? Now, for those of you who are coupled, Taurus, what can we expect for September 9th through October 9th? The same kind of energy where you just need to keep doing what works for you, what's traditionally worked within your relationship, within your marriage. Um... But feel really confident and good about yourself because the more that you feel good about yourself, the more that you're going to like radiate positivity and um, whatever to your partner and then the more they're going to see you that way as well. Like they're going to see you as so radiant and full of love and just like very fertile. Like if you wanted to get pregnant, they're just going to want to breed you this month. So long as you're feeling confident and good about yourself. Now, some of you are not, and some of you are kind of trying to exit the relationship. So if your partner's coming at you and is like, oh my gosh, you're looking so fine and whatever, whatever, and you're trying to leave, probably don't want to engage in that because you have a very um, good chance of getting pregnant this month. So be careful. Now, we have the emperor here as well as the empress. So maybe both you and your partner are feeling very good about yourself and very stable. And maybe you're more self-focused on uh, instead of being focused on each other. And that's causing some anxiety, some upset, some worry, right? Like, why is my partner not paying so much attention to me? But ultimately, whatever it is that you wish for within your relationship, this is a really good month to manifest it. So be careful as you're thinking about things, what it is that you want. You don't want to be that person up at night worried and thinking about like, oh, what if my partner's thinking about cheating? What if my partner this and that? What you're going to do is draw that more close to your own reality. And then you're going to have yourself a nightmare on your hands. Instead, think about what it is that you want for your relationship, what it is that you want for your partner to do, to act like, to be like, and then you're going to draw that closer to reality, okay? That's how the law of attraction works. Whatever our thoughts are, whatever we put out into the universe is what we bring in. And then in a saying, this is just a warning saying that your thoughts are manifesting super, super speed this month. They really are. Like, boom, almost overnight, like instantaneous. You have to be very cautious about what it is that you're thinking about and what it is that you desire because ultimately you're going to end up with a lot less than what you wanted if you're focused that way. And you're not going to feel very good about yourself either. You're going to lose a lot of confidence if you're doing that. So just a word of warning for you this month, September 9th through October 9th. Um... But it says, ultimately, though, in relationships, if you can um, keep everything 
focused on the positive and manifesting what it is that you want and what you desire, you will see a turn of good luck in your relationship and everything will be on the up and up. So that's an awesome note to end on. If you'd like any um, personal advice, all of my contact information is below for a private reading. Um, or if you'd like to learn how to read tarot, all of that information is on the Patreon site with the link below as well. And see you soon. Mwah!